Saints, uh, this is a issue that I didn't expect to address or speak on. But there's two well-known ministries on YouTube. One is Pastor Paul Begley and Miss Anita Fuentes. Miss Anita Fuentes, I do empathize. I'm sorry. I know it's been some time now, and I'm sorry about your son's passing. I believe he is resting well in the arms of Jesus Christ, and I believe that he is indeed in heaven. And I saw a video that you made not too long ago. I don't know when you made it, but it, couldn't, it didn't look like it was that long ago. But um, that person that said those things about your son will pay the price because they will have to stand before Jesus. Okay? It doesn't negate the fact, ma'am, ma that you are a false prophet and a false teacher. You've prophesied various things from the destruction of New York City to you believe that we were going to have Armageddon. You also prophesied various other things in regards to us being in the seventh and sixth seal in the Feast of Trumpets. When the Feast of Trumpets is supposed to happen during the tribulation, and we're not there yet because the Daniel 9.27 prophecy, ma'am, is what fills or ushers in the tribulation. And we're not there yet. So you know that many others have tried to correct you regarding your false doctrines and your false prophecies, which are obviously led by Satan. Now, I will not come on here and say horrible things about your little son that died. I, as a fellow mother empathize and I'm sorry for your pain and in fact I prayed for you. My brothers and sisters in Christ have prayed for you, for your pain to cease. And in fact, I congratulate you on your pregnancy and I hope that you carry that child to term and that you have a very healthy child. It doesn't negate the fact, ma'am, that you are a false prophet and a false teacher and you're leading many astray. The other issue is, you are asking people for donations. When you very well know it says in the Bible that the Lord frowns upon that. That love of money is the root of evil. And that when the Lord sent his twelve disciples out, he told them not to take anything on their shoulders, no gold, no gold, nothing. To leave with what they came. To go from house to house. Preach the gospel. And those that are not willing to hear. Dust the feet off and go on to the next house. The gospel is a free gift. No one shouldn't have to pay for that. You don't need fancy banners ma'am. You can simply go out in the street. You can use your Facebook ministry to spread the gospel. Or you can even do it on YouTube. You don't need banners ma'am. In fact. When you were trying to get that TV studio. Because you were asking for a million dollars or something, six or seven, I forget the dollar figure. I called you out on it, and I told you on your ministry. I was the first one to tell you this. Why don't you just get a bank loan? Why do you need donations? And the minute I told you that, you started getting an influx of people commenting, opposing, that you're asking for donations. That was the Holy Spirit moving through me and all of those people to tell you that asking for donations is wrong. Some people can't afford to give you those donations, especially with the economy the way that it is. And also, the Bible talks about tithes. Do you know that tithes means offerings, ma'am? Do you know that offerings can be simply giving someone in a homeless shelter the shirt off your back? ten dollars a warm meal or going down to the goodwill donating clothes don't go down to the local soup kitchen donating food whatever you can give giving advice to someone counseling them being a true friend those are offerings too ma'am that that do reap blessings from the Lord Jesus Christ so don't think just because you're on your show with that 1980s hairdo that you're doing right by God, ma'am, because you're not. 
And I know I'm going to get your minions that are going to come on my channel. That's why I disable comments, by the way. And they're going to say derogatory comments about me. Their words mean nothing. Because they will have to stand before Jesus Christ much like you will. You, man, have blasphemed the Lord once too many times. And you are going to see in the coming months, weeks, days, that you are going to experience failure and financial hardship in every area of your life. If you are a sinner, you are not entitled to God's blessings, and it says so in the Bible. Watch, this prophecy is going to come to pass. The same message goes from Minister Paul, or Pastor Paul Begley, who uses Catholic doctrines. I just recently uh, shared a video on my Google Plus page, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at it about these two. He uses Catholic doctrines in his teachings, ladies and gentlemen. This is a pastor that robs God blind much like Anita Fuentes. Anita Fuentes has on her ministry page 140 something dollars. You can become an ordained minister. First of all, who is she to ordain anybody? She's nobody. The only one that ordains pastors in their positions and ministers of the gospel is Jesus Christ himself, not mankind. Secondly, you got morons that actually go on her channel and pay a hundred and something where they donate their hard-earned money thinking that they're doing a justice, but they're not. They're making these two people rich. When you donate to these people, Paul, Be Paul Begley with his false prophecies, he says in one of his videos that there's a 50% chance that God prophesied, God told him 50% chance that the prophecy, the Daniel 9.27 is going to be fulfilled. That's one of his so-called 13 points. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. God is not a liar. These two people are. These two frauds. Okay? Because God is not going to say 50% or whatever. God is right on point. If God prophesies something to his servants, it's going to be 100% accurate. So he prophesied um, earthquakes. He prophesied that... Um, what else did he prophesy? Oh, he prophesied that we're going to have Armageddon too. Supposedly, it's supposed to happen this year. He could sit there and say he never did, but he did. Okay. He also prophesied about the Antichrist being on the scene. That's right. That the Antichrist was going to come about. Supposed to be last year. Never happened. You know, with folks like this, the Bible says if a person prophesied one time falsely and it doesn't come to pass, they were never sent by God. That means they're a false prophet. And don't be afraid to speak out against them. These two individuals, ladies and gentlemen, are false prophets. You need to wake up and smell the coffee for real. You have to stop listening to people like this and stop being stupid and donating to them too. Forgive me for using that term, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not saying all of you, but a lot of you donate your hard-earned money to these people. You really want to help the body of Christ? Why don't you take your hard-earned money and you see a homeless person on the street, buy them a blanket or a jacket. Or buy them a warm meal. That warm meal comes a long way. Instead of funding the ministries of these false prophets. Because God said to me, he never sent them. Jesus Christ is against you too, and he's gonna He's gonna send you a great shaking. You see the economic disasters that are happening here? You're gonna feel it in every part of your life. Your ministries are going to fail. You're gonna lose donations. Every area of your life is going to fail. It is cursed. You will partake in the economic and suffering that mankind is going to see. Your lands are cursed. They are not going to bear good fruit. God does not bestow blessings upon sinners. He is withholding his reign from your lands, which means you're going to see drought, Miss Fuentes. The drought is going to come to your area too. In fact, it's already started. It's been there. 
Same thing for you, Pastor Paul Begley. You are not ministers of the gospel. You're both ministers of Satan. Now, I agree with you, Ms. Fuentes, that a Christian shouldn't be passive. That they have a right to defend themselves. I agree with that wholeheartedly. It says it in the Bible, too. But I disagree with the doctrines that you're spreading and the false prophecies. How many people you're causing to fall astray. You, man, have no business to tell people that the rapture is going to be after the tribulation because you don't know that. Only God does. I believe, this is my opinion, I'm not stating it as fact, and I've talked about this before, that the rapture will be sometime during the tribulation or after. I don't know. It's up to Jesus Christ. You, man, have no right to call yourself a bride. Neither do you, Mr. Begley. You have a lot of evil fruits in your basket, and so do you, Miss Fuentes. You both have an angry spirit behind you, and you put on this personal disguise when you're in front of the camera. But when you're off the camera, there's a whole different story that your audience doesn't know about. Miss Fuentes, regarding your child, I'm very sorry for his death. And I agree that that individual did not have any right to say such horrible things. I would have been mad myself. But when you are correcting someone, you need to correct them in love. Now, I get you're a mother, and I'm a mother too. But you can have righteous anger, but you cannot get angry in the flesh. You know what the Bible says? Don't let the sun go down on you. You too are false prophets. There's so many videos out there on you. Minister, or Pastor Paul Begley, when you had the video about the cross, I believe that that was real. But what I also know that the Lord Jesus told me you did something very dangerous in that video. You wanted something supernatural to happen. So you provoked that demon. Very dangerous. You taunted it to attack you. That demonic spirit is still present in your house, sir. It went dormant. It has full legal rights and access to you, sir. You have many strongholds open, much like Miss Fuentes. Ladies and gentlemen that are subscribed to these two individuals, I urge you, to unsubscribe and that is your choice. Don't defend them. If you just started listening to them, if you are supporting them and you did not see God's counsel first, you committed blasphemy. If you choose to listen to people like this without seeking God's counsel first, that is your choice. But you need to wake up and stop listening to false prophets like this. One with a 1980s hairdo and makeup that looks like Tammy Faye Baker or like somebody took um, a bucket full of paint and put a bunch of colors on it and threw it on her face like that and the other one that looks inbred and I'm full of righteous anger right now you can sit there and say oh you're assaulting you're mocking them well let me tell you something in the Bible God mocks the wicked Okay? God mocks the wicked. The other one that resembles um, a very, very old, old, dried up man in the nursing home. Pastor Paul Begley. That's the old man nature I told you about. And Miss Fuentes is the old woman nature. Covering all them wrinkles with all that ton of makeup. You listen to people like this, you are just going to damn your souls. And those of you that are defending these people, you can straight up say whatever you want about me. You want to curse me out? You're going to be cursing God out. Because I feel good in my place with Jesus. I'm all about the Father's business, not my own. 
So you want to get mad at me? Go ahead and get mad. I don't care. I'm going to keep pushing forward because I'm doing my Father's will. Jesus Christ got my back. I don't need the approval of man. I know that these two are false prophets. And I've been meaning to speak on this for a long time. Now, And I was waiting for the right time that the Lord said would be, this is now the right time. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end this video here shortly. I'm just telling you people, you need to wake up. You need to stop listening to people like this. I get it that they bring you the, the news to you, okay? But every time a person brings you the news, you need to test the spirits. She was talking about yesterday, she was like, Benita Fuentes, how the global market crashed and the economic disaster is here. And I agree, it's here. But she was dramatizing it by telling you to stock up on food and all this and that and the other. It's not that great. The, the economic disaster is just beginning. I told you all that. But it's not the magnitude where you're going to need food. You are, in God's time, you're going to need it. But she was like telling you to do that right now, tomorrow. Look, let me tell you something. Don't listen to false prophet demons. Jesus Christ will tell you when to prepare. Remember he did it to Joseph? He sent Joseph a dream in the book of Genesis. And Joseph told the Pharaoh about to um, the Lord. It was seven cows, seven cows that were healthy and seven cows that were skinny. That meant seven years of prospering with food and seven years of famine. So in other words, God was saying that to prepare, to save up for the next seven years, your grain and your food and your harvest and everything like that, because seven years of famine was coming. So God was telling them to prepare in advance. God's the one that told Joseph. So God will let his servants know when it's time to prepare, okay, for a very destitute situation like famine. Don't listen to these false prophets. You people need to get in the word of God. Seriously, you need to get in the word of God. You need to seek God's counsel. You need to seek Jesus Christ instead of depending on these false prophets that are begging for money every five minutes. Like this pastor Begley selling his books or his mugs. You want a mug? Go down to the dollar store and buy you a mug. You don't need to buy his mug for $5 a mug or her too. She was advertising a mug that said $11.59. You want a mug? Get a mug from the store, a dollar store, a white mug. Get you a permanent black marker and write $11.59. And you have the same mug she's got. Be, pro, be practical, ladies and gentlemen. You want a mug that he's got that says, are you serious? Get Do the same thing. Get a white mug, write on it in permanent black marker, are you serious? Then you got the same mug for a dollar plus tax. You know, you don't need banners and none of that to spread the gospel. You can go on YouTube or on Facebook and spread the gospel that way because it's a public forum. When you got these ministers, so-called ministers of, of the gospel, asking for money for banners, they just trying to get rich off your behinds. And I'm saying that out of love. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's past 1 o'clock in the morning. I got to work tomorrow. But I'm just telling y'all, y'all need to wake up and stop listening to frauds like this. Straight up. That's your choice to make. You're listening to one person who, who says she came to Christ, but yet behind the camera, she's always angry. She's got a very angry spirit, very prideful, claims she's a prophet of God. She implies it. And so does he. He says he's a prophet of God. He's a vessel of Jesus Christ. Well, straight up, they're the vessels of Satan. That's what they are. Now, I'm going to end this, this broadcast Lord wanted me to speak on is it's y'all people's choice if you continue, not all of you, but those that are listening to these two, if you continue to listen to um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, that's your choice. That's your choice. If you want to listen to these two and get your souls damned. What, you know, you, you know that the Lord says to test the fruits of people like this. 
Because the Lord says you test everybody's fruits, even mine. You always test the spirits. See if they are of God by going to Jesus Christ personally and asking God if he sent these two. I prayed to Jesus Christ about these two and the Lord told me he never sent them. And they're saying that God sent them. That they get dreams and visions from God. You got the other one, we are uh, Anita Fuentes, putting up end time dreams and visions saying that they're all from God. How she know? She's not listening from God. These two listen from the devil. They listen, they get their messages from the devil. When I hear those end time dreams, I go straight to the Lord. I say, God, she has an end time dream playing about so and so. Is that from you? I straight up test the spirits like it says in 1 John. And I'm doing what it says in 1 John. Don't judge by appearance, judge righteous judgment. And I'm judging righteous judgment. Yes, her appearance is busted from the floor up, and so is his, but I'm judging by, by righteous judgment. She's got a straight up Jezebel spirit, an angry spirit, a spirit of pride, and he's got the same thing. Don't let people's uh, facade, you know, their disguise fool you on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. That they come in front of the camera and they present themselves in one way and behind the camera they're totally different. The Lord said that false Christ will arise. The Lord said that many, that the false Christ will arise. They will appear like holy and Christ-like and beautiful on the outside, but in the inside of dead man's bones. Now, I'm not saying these two are beautiful. I already told you they're torn from the floor up, okay? I'm not saying that, all right? What makes them like that, tore from the floor on the outside, is the sin nature. It's not the physical looks that play a role. The sin nature affects the physical looks. That's why they look like that gravity's taking toll, okay? But I'm just telling you, Lord said false Christ will arise. That they will appear holy before you, but don't let them fool you. If you hear somebody say, there's Christ, there's Christ, don't believe them, because many false Christs and prophets are arising. God said you will know them by their fruits. Okay? So you take this to Jesus in prayer. I'm about to stop this broadcast. Ask God if what I told you is true.